Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas Paco and today I'm bringing you some cool tips and tricks which you can use for building. So let's take a look at these rectangles. Which one of these do you like best? Is it this one, this one or this one? Let's take a look at it one more time. So one, two or three. If you like number three best, you have a very fine taste of rectangles and building in general. But why is that so? When you're making shapes, it's best to keep the golden ratio in mind. But what is it? It is seen as the perfect ratio and is defined by the Fibonacci sequence. If you've never heard of it before, let's take a look at these numbers. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 33, 54, etc. Is there anything you can notice with these numbers? If not, let me explain it to you. If you take the first and the second number, you can add it and then it gives you the third number. So in this case, it would be one plus one, which would equal two and so on. So let's do the next one. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight and so on. And that is what you wanna keep in mind when building shapes. So a great way to get dimensions for a shape is to take two of these numbers next to each other. For example, five by eight, which is this one right here, or 13 and 21, which is this one. And that makes a golden rectangle, which is regarded as the most appealing rectangle. So keep that in mind when building things. And also if you wanna see other shapes, ratios, and other tips and tricks for building, I'll put a link down there in the video description, which is gonna bring you to a link where you can see all sorts of different tricks which you can use for building. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and bye bye. Please tell me in the comments down below if I should do more of these videos and me and you can get better at building together. If you now click the box on the right, it'll take you to some inspiration from this house. And if you click the box on the left, it'll take you right to a video with a lantern that's not really having anything visible to power it. Only that little arrow up there, but it's never, never ever gonna turn off how I did that just check it out but that's about it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time